Before Bomb became the runtime and package manager that it's known as, it actually started as a front-end dev server, and now it is once again. It's now a fully featured front-end development toolchain. This latest update is actually awesome, and it's honestly making me switch from V and React, even Next.js, over to Bun for some of my projects. It's got incredible ease of use, and it might just be the simplest way to create a React application. RIP. Let me jump right into what I'm talking about while you hit that subscribe button. So in BUM version 1.2.3, we actually have a new way to get started with a project. We can simply go ahead and type in BUM in it. This is going to bring up some templates that we can select from. I'm going to choose a React project. And as you can see in here, we can choose a default setup, Tailwind CSS or Shad CN and Tailwind CSS, which is super handy. I'm going to pick Shad CN here. You can see it installed my dependencies super quickly as I've run this before when I was testing. So it's already got those dependencies in the cache. And then we're ready to get started with the dev server. So I'm going to go ahead and run bun dev and then we'll load this up and see the code as well. Here we go. This is our template project. You can see it's a React application with a couple of Shad CN components and of course Tailwind. And then we also have a couple of API routes as well that we can test out. So if I hit send here, you can see the response comes back in this text box here. But if we take a look at the code, it all starts from our index.tsx. This is where we have our bun.serve. And then inside of here, we have the routes. Now, this has actually been renamed from bun 1.2. This used to be static, but now it's routes. And that's because this now has a built-in router with support for dynamic path parameters. I mean, it's actually awesome. Now you can just define your routes and let bun match them for you. As you can see down here with the API hello and then name as well, you even get these dynamic path parameters that should be type safe. So to extract the name, all we need to do is do request.params.name. As they show in their release notes, there's actually a demo where you can go ahead and get a full database backed full stack application in just 25 lines of code. What's even cooler in those release notes though, is that while React is supported out of the box, it actually says that plugins for Svelte and Vue are coming soon. So if we take a look at how the front end is being handled here, you can see at the top that we serve index.html for all unmatched routes. We do this asterisk pattern here, and you can see we're importing index from index.html. So in our index.html, we're then importing frontend.tsx via the script tag. Then in frontend.tsx, this is where our React application is. And you can see that this just loads in the app component. And then inside of this component is where our actual code is. Now, another great change since bun 1.2 though, is that it has hot reloading. So if I go ahead and just type something after this, like let's say hello and save it, you can see that the changes appear instantly on the right when I saved. Now, the architecture behind this is awesome. It actually uses a module format so that after initial load, most assets transfer via WebSockets. This stops the front end from sending a bunch of requests to localhost when a file changes. And it also means that changing one file doesn't rebuild everything. So in typical bun fashion, it's probably one of the fastest hot reloadings out there. Something else cool about the dev server, although I can't get this to work at the moment, I get a 404, is if you go to underscore bun slash incremental underscore visualizer, you're supposed to be able to get the module graph out, which is gonna be super handy for debugging. But as I said, at the moment, I'm getting that 404, and this feature is so new that there doesn't seem to be any documentation on it. So hopefully this works when you try it. There's two more developer experience features that I want to show you. First, if you add in a new component or what's more likely is your get cursor to write one for you, like I have with this subscribe here, you can see that we need to go ahead and add frame emotion to our package.json. Now imagine if this was a lot larger code and there was way more imports, you'd have to go in and do that manually unless you could get the AI to do it for you. Or with bun, you can go ahead and just use the bun install analyze command. If we give this command a glob of files to search, like all of the files in our source directory that end with TSX, and then we hit enter, you can see that it goes ahead and looks through it. I don't know what these errors are, but you can see it's installed frame emotion as it's picked that up. The other one is that Buncreate is now great at bootstrapping an app straight from a single file. So if you're managing an existing project or using LLMs like I have here, we can go ahead and get the TSX file out of this. So I'll just copy this and save it to a file. I've saved this in a new folder called subsite and I've literally just got that one file subsite.tsx. So how can I go ahead and make this into a site? Well, all we need to do now is type in bun create and then do dot slash and then subsite.tsx. And if we hit enter here, you can see that it's creating the config for us. It's seen that we're using ShadCN. It actually has support for that. So it's picked that up. It's installed ShadCN for us. It's installed the components we need, which was the button and it's set up everything for us. Now, all I need to go ahead and do is type in bun dev and you can see from that single file that we had, this subsite.tsx, it's gone ahead and made the whole application for us, launched the dev server, and we have our site working over here.
As I said, this is gonna be super handy for when you're copying code and you wanna start up a project from a single file. But another thing that's really awesome is I saw Jared on Twitter, try and reach out to Anthropic so that if you went ahead and did bun create and then the chat URL for your Anthropic link, it would download the code for you and start up the dev server. Now, unfortunately that's not added yet as Anthropic don't have a way, but hopefully more things like this come in the future. There we go, Bun is truly getting better each and every update. Let me know in the comments down below if you would use this feature. While you're down there, subscribe, and as always, see you in the next one.